Hello again, my name is Jessica, your Zon Tools Tutorial Assistant. For today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of what a PGN is. Our PGN is a great improvement from what we had before. So what is a PGN? A PGN is a product group network and are proprietary to Zon Tools, proprietary campaign and ad group setups that our system generates. Fully automates for you in order to leverage the full potential of the Amazon matching algorithm and sponsored product for that API while staying within Amazon TOS. You can easily create a PGN with a few clicks and a few information will be asked from you. Here are sample screenshots of the PGN creation modal. You can check our how to create PGN tutorial video for the detailed steps of PGN creation. Now, what is the PGN composed of? The PGN includes the new product attribute targeting campaigns and the new enhanced auto target. The structure of the PGN is composed of an exact campaign, a phrase campaign, broad campaign, an auto campaign, and the product targeting or PAT campaign. Each of these three campaigns, exact, phrase and broad, will initially be created with one ad group, but the amount of ad groups will grow the more keywords you add or the more keywords we mine for you. There is a limit of 1000 keywords per ad group. And we will simply go and add another ad group on the exact, phrase, and broad campaign whenever you reach the limit. Whether you give us 2000 fewer to start with or because we mine more than 1000 keywords. The auto campaign, however, will be created with only one ad group inside which is the enhanced auto targeting that we will cover in detail later. The PAT campaign will be created with four different ad groups within it. And each ad group will have its specific strategy which we will cover in a moment. We will discuss the bid allocation and default bid per campaign and ad group as we move along with the detailed explanation of these five entities. The way we select the budget allocation and bid amount is based on the likelihood for you to compare exact match. The defense ad group and ASIN ad group have the highest likelihood for you to convert in a sale. Whereas the phrase, broad, auto, brand, and category. They are a research campaigns and research ad groups which are less likely to convert. So in order to risk less money we will budget slightly less and bid slightly less. Now, let's cover these five entities, one by one. The exact campaign is an offensive campaign that attacks other keywords and we will use 30% daily allocated budget and 100% of the default bid. Here we will be targeting only the exact match keywords and it will be a repository for your initial set of keywords as well as for any search term that our automation will identify as profitable and mine in automation for you. The phrase campaign will be a research campaign and we will allocate 20% of the budget to it. And being a research campaign it is less likely to convert so we will use 80% of your default bid. And we will be targeting only phrase match keywords and it will be a repository for all the good terms that you will add. We will also test them a phrase match, as well as for all the terms that our automation will mine for you. It's important to note that when we go about creating a PGN, we will negate all the keywords that you put in exact match. We will negate them away from the phrase campaign in order to avoid search term collision and leverage certain isolation. You want to isolate the exact, phrase, and broad not to bid for the same search term in more than a location and more than a campaign. The next entity is the broad campaign which is also a research campaign. Where we will allocate 15% of a daily budget and 60% of the default bid. This is exactly like the phrase match. Wherein we will add any customer search term that we mine for you or keywords that you may add as a broad match. In order to identify a new opportunity for you to expand your reach to new longer tail search terms to bid on. Here we will also leverage search term isolation. So we will negate all the keywords that you add as phrase matches away from the broad on the PGN. The auto campaign is going to be a research campaign or ad group with the new EAT, enhanced auto targeting. Auto by default will have four entities. The four different targets within the ad group will be a lose match. So this specific target will be created by default by Amazon within the auto ad group. And this will go about matching your program to broadly related customer search term searches. The close match will go about matching your product and your ad with highly relevant customer search term searches. The substitutes will target the product detail page. It will target other people's products and the substitutes specifically will target direct competitors. 
So if you're searching for a spatula this specific target will bid on other similar spatula products. Lastly, is the compliments which is the fourth target of auto campaign. Which will show your ads on product detail pages of products that are other compliments or accessories of yours. Just a note, autos were weird animals before, investing now it's not very weird anymore. So we already covered the exact, phrase, broad, and auto campaign. The fifth campaign we will create for you is the PAT or the product attribute targeting. This feature allows you to do what the auto campaign used to be only able to do but now we can do it with PAT and be more precise. So we can go and target specific product detail page, specific competitors or even your own products with your own advertising. With the PAT we can also target specific subcategories. For broader reach of ads that subcategories can be further refined filtered or segmented in brands, price range, and star rating and that's why at the beginning when you go about creating a PGN we need to know your product price and your star rating because we will use the data to create a very pro segmentation of all the target. PAT can only be used on the ad group level. You cannot have a PAT campaign but you can have a PAT ad group and yes. You can negate ASINs away from the PAT and that's fantastic because if you are bidding on an ASIN that is not working, you can negate the ASIN or pause. PAT ads can show up on all the same pages that a sponsored product ads can but in different locations. The first ad group that we will create within the PAT campaign is the defense ad group. And the goal of this ad group is to defend your listing and to take as much risk possible within your own listing with your own product. In order to improve customer retention. Here we are targeting individual products and every ASINs in your catalog. These specific targets behave similarly to an exact match keyword. This is the same strategy you will be able to leverage with just a click of a button within our PGN structure. Moving on, we cover the defense ad group. Now let's go and discuss the ASIN ad group within PAT campaign. This is offensive unlike before with defense ad group we defend our listing. And we retain as much traffic possible in our own brand. Now we can go about attacking other ASINs and this is the goal of the ASIN ad group. Within the ASIN ad group we're going to target the top 200 listings of Amazon API tells us your product is relevant to. And these are also exact matches and similar to an exact match. The third ad group we're going to create for you will be the brand ad group. And this ad group is very similar to a phrase campaign which is like a research ad group. Here what we will do is we will target all brands within your suggested categories based on the SKUs you will submit for advertisement. Amazon will tell us what categories the items are relevant. And based on the categories both items are relevant to or suggested categories. Amazon will give us the 50 top brands within those categories and we will take every single category that Amazon tells us you're relevant. And within each of those categories we identify the top 50 brands of your competitor and for each brand and we go about segmenting their catalog in four different ways. So we will bid on brands but refined by higher price, lower rating. This is the highest likelihood of conversion because you're bidding on items that are more expensive but cheaper than yours. So we will use 100% of default bid as we have the highest likelihood of conversion. Then we will bid on lower price, lower rating brands so we filter by brand by lower prices, lower rating. This you have a less likely low conversion so we're gonna use 80% of your default bid. Another segment is by higher price, higher rating. More expensive product with higher ratings. So they could be perceived a higher value product so you're even less likely to convert so we'll use 60% of default bid. The last segment is lower price, higher rating. In this one you really have a very small chance of conversion and it's really about what you offer. And what difference is within your product compared to the one you are targeting. Because you are selling something more expensive with a lower star rating. Because of this risk, we're just gonna use 40% of your default bid. Now for the last ad group, which is the category ad group. And this ad group is very similar to a broad campaign, which is like a research ad group. It is the same as the brand ad group where targets are refined in four parts same as the brand ad group. Whereas, bids will be refined by higher price, lower rating, with the highest likelihood of conversion, and will use 100% of the default bid. Then we will bid on lower price, lower rating categories, with a less likely low conversion, so we'll use 80% of the default bid. 
The next segment is by higher price and higher rating, more expensive products with higher ratings. This is perceived a higher value products within the category, so you are most likely to convert less. And we will bid only 60% of your default bid. The last segment is lower price and higher rating. With this segment, you'll have the smallest chance of conversion and it is really more on what you offer. And what difference is within your product compared to the one you are targeting, because you are selling something more expensive with a lower star rating. And that being said, we will only use a 40% of your default bid. We showed you what's inside the PGN and now we're going to cover the PGN automation that works specifically only within the PGN and is available to you only if you have a dominator plan which is our highest plan. There are six specific automation that we have within PGN. First is the Automate 3.0. AM Engine will efficiently adjust your targets and keyword bids to help you reach your ACOS goals. The AM algorithm will calculate and adjust your bid up or down based on your given thresholds to help maximize sales all while staying within your ACOS limits. Next, the Keyword Miner Engine which will constantly scan your reports and add any relevant and converting customer search terms back into our system. This will organically grow your campaigns in a controlled, 100% automated environment. So each time we find a profitable relevant search term within a certain report we're going to take it out and add it as a keyword in the exact campaign as exact match. Phrase we add it as phrase match plus negative exact on campaign level. In broad we add it as broad match plus negative phrase on campaign level. Now the third engine is the target miner. While keyword miner used to scan your search term. Target miner on the other hand will scan your target reports and add any relevant converting ASINs back into your aggressive ad group, which is the ASIN ad group and negate them away from the category and brand ad group. We will also negate them away from the auto ad group to maintain ASIN isolation. So these two are the good ones where we find good ASIN, good search term and we mine them. Then we have the Terminator and Asinator engine, which is the opposite of the second and third engines where we find the search term that make you bleed money, search terms that are not relevant or not converting, and negate. Terminator will act on the customer search terms report. Whenever we find a search term that is not behaving and is making you bleed money, we will take and negate in your campaigns. Negative exact match in phrase. We'll negate it in broad campaign as negative exact. And we will negate it in the auto campaign as negative exact match so you don't bid ever again on that specific search term. The same applies to the asinator which we will constantly scan your reports and negate any bleeding asin where needed, improving your auto and PAT campaigns. And lastly, we have the bid gambler. If you are bidding too low, BG will periodically increase the bid until you start getting clicks. Bid Gambler and Bid Mailer engines work together to optimize the bid of each keyword in your account. So this is about it for the PGN overview. Continue watching our next tutorials to learn more about how Zon Tools works.